Howdy, this is Lemmy with RevZilla TV, here to talk to you today about Progressive 970 shocks for Harley. You should be looking into a 970 shock for your motorcycle quite simply if you want the very best shock technology you can get onto the rear of your Harley. These things are currently being made for just about every single Harley with standard twin shocks out there. So that's going to include Sporty, Dyna, those of you guys on Touring, there's something here for you. Installation on these is a two beard in our BSD. For most of you, you should be able to do this job assuming you can get your bike up in the air and you have access to a decent toolkit. Let's tear them apart. So when you look at these, I think the first thing that jumps out to everybody is the most noticeable characteristic of this shock is that it comes in two pieces. Um, there's this remote reservoir out here, which some of you may be familiar with, some not. This really is a direct take from the performance bike world, specifically sport bikes use these. So these reservoirs are actually external reservoirs. You'll see here on the touring shocks I have in front of me, these are actually physically external. They are totally separate from the shock. Whereas um, for Dynas or for Sporties, those are actually gonna have the reservoirs mounted directly to the shock body. But the function is exactly the same. What they're doing is moving gas and, and oil away from the shock body. And the reason to do that is twofold. The first is that it increases the volume overall of the amount of gas and oil that the shock can carry. But the other thing it does is helps cool down that oil. So firstly, because there's more volume in the system anyway, it takes a longer time in order to heat that oil and gas up. By virtue of the fact that it is separated out, it allows the oil and the gas to cool more. So this is important because when the oil and the gas stay cool, they don't cavitate, they don't form bubbles. As you compress and unload your shock over and over, it builds up heat. And that heat really does wind up sort of cooking the oil and, and it winds up cavitating. Again, it causes air, turns the oil and the gas mixture into foam. And unfortunately, as soon as you get that foaminess, that's when you get shock fade, when you're, when you're damping and your compression kind of goes all to hell and your bike feels terrible. So by both increasing the volume of the system with the external reservoir, as well as allowing that place somewhere else to separate, to sort of, to separate out and keep the gas and the oil from being that big foamy mess, um, an external reservoir really does help. It's a very, very big thing to have on the shock. So the other cool thing about this on the reservoir, as you can see here, compression uh, is adjustable. You can adjust the compression on your shock. So specifically, that means um, you, can, you can really kind of dial in how hard or easy it is to compress that shock when you actually strike a bump or some sort of a hole in the road surface. You can see here too, preload's also adjustable. I really like on the 970s, not only is the preload adjustable with this tool that they will actually include for you, but there's also a lock ring on top. So once you dial in exactly where you want this thing, you can also spin the lock ring down and really snug it down, make sure that your settings aren't gonna go anywhere. Um, these things are beautifully machined. You can see these awesome aluminum bodies on here. They're really carefully made. They do have a progressive rate spring on here too. You can see this thing does wind tighter near the end of the shock to give you really a whole host of, of damping. You're not stuck with a straight rate spring like on a factory shock, this thing actually does fight, um, fight the harder bumps for you to keep you from getting any type of teeth jarring. One of the other cool things too on these touring shocks, you can see here this braided stainless line that connects the reservoir to the shock body itself is also covered in vinyl too so you're not tearing anything up. Um, on the touring bike specifically, these shocks mount in standard spot but then these will hang off of your crash bars. They do tuck out of the way really nicely um, and they bring kind of a sporty look to your bike. So we talked about installation being a two-bearder. Realistically, these aren't too hard to install. You're looking at just four points of attachment on most of these. So depending on your year, make, and model of bike, you might be looking at Torx bolts, might be looking at regular hex heads. But if you have a good set of sockets and you have uh, a decent set of you know, uh, hand tools, swapping a set of these out for your factory units shouldn't be hard at all. I'd say one of the most difficult parts of the process, and actually one of the most fun, is going to be actually dialing these things in. Sometimes those minute adjustments really can be the difference between, eh, this shock is so-so, and wow, this really transformed my bike. But I think that's really kind of part of the fun, tuning that suspension. The only reason we give this thing a two-beard in terms of the installation is just because you have to get your bike up in the air. Especially on the larger bikes, like say a touring bike, that can be difficult. You're going to need either uh, some buddies, perhaps a jack or a lift, some sort of a table, so when you get that bike up in the air, that's really the only thing that bumps it for most people into that two beard category. The 970s really are the nicest shock that Progressive has to offer. If you want to bring great handling to your bike, but you also want a nice luxe ride, you should be looking into a 970. My opinion is not the only one that matters though. Click below, check out what some other riders who are already rocking 970s on their bike have to say about it. If you've got a fitment question, there's something I didn't cover, get in touch with one of our gear geeks. See us at revzilla.com, or you can always give us a uh, jingle on the telephone. 877-792-9455. I'm Lemmy, I'm out of here.